Welcome to this Sabanja University School of Languages video podcast. Uh, this is the first in a series of uh, videos that's going to be looking at uh, interesting aspects of uh, language teaching. Today we're going to focus on the TPAC model. That's technological, pedagogical and content knowledge. And we're going to perhaps consider how this fits into language teaching. So, what is TPAC? TPAC is uh, the acronym that stands for Technological, Pedagogical and Content Knowledge. And this model attempts to identify the nature of knowledge required by teachers for integration of technology into their teaching. At the heart of this framework is um, the interplay between the three primary forms of knowledge. That's content, which will be abbreviated to CK, pedagogy, which you'll see abbreviated to PK, and technology, which we'll see as TK. What the TPAC approach does is to go beyond seeing these three knowledge bases in isolation. Furthermore, it emphasizes that new kinds of knowledge lie at um, the intersections between each of these. So, uh, later on in today's video we'll be considering what happens when we see P and C together, when we get pedagogical content knowledge. We'll also be seeing what happens when we get T and C together, the technological content knowledge, and we'll see what happens at the intersection of T and P, that's technological and pedagogical knowledge. First of all, let's start with a description of each of these in isolation. So firstly, let's look at technology knowledge. Technology knowledge is knowledge about standard technologies, such as books, um, a whiteboard and pens and it goes on from this to look at more advanced technologies such as the internet and digital video media. And included in technology knowledge we would see um, the skills required to operate particular technologies. So um, in the case of digital technologies this would include some knowledge of operating systems, computer hardware, um, as well as the ability to use standard software tools such as word processors, spreadsheets and email, for example. So, TK would include knowledge of maybe how to install and remove peripheral devices, how to install and remove software programs, how to create and archive, archive documents, for example. Uh, most standard technology workshops and tutorials tend to focus currently on the acquisition of such skills. Okay, pedagogical knowledge. Pedagogical knowledge is deep knowledge about the processes and practices, well, the methods of teaching and learning, and how this encompasses its overall education purposes, values, and aims. This is um, a generic form of knowledge which is involved in the issues of student learning, classroom management, the development of lesson plans and their implementation, and uh, student evaluation, for example. It includes knowledge about techniques and methods that you can use in the classroom, um, strategies for e evaluating student understanding. So um, a teacher with deep pedagogical knowledge understands how students construct knowledge and acquire skills, how they develop habits of the mind, and how they have uh, positive feelings towards learning. So, pedagogical knowledge requires an understanding of cognitive, social, and developmental theories of learning, and how they apply to students in their classroom. Let's now look at content knowledge. Content knowledge is knowledge about the actual subject matter that is to be learned or taught. 
So the content to be covered in um, a particular subject, say for example in math, would be very different from the content to be covered in a course on say computer science or art history. So teachers clearly have to know and understand the, the subjects they teach. So this includes uh, knowledge of central facts, um, concepts th and theories within a given field, knowledge of explanatory frameworks that organize and connect ideas, and knowledge of the rules of evidence and proof. Teachers also have to understand uh, the nature of knowledge and inquiry in the particular field. So this, for example, would be how a proof in mathematics is different from, say, a historical explanation or a literary interpretation. So teachers that don't have such understandings can misrepresent these subjects to their students. Okay, let's now start to examine the intersections between two of these uh, types of knowledge. Let's begin with TPK, and that's technological pedagogical knowledge. Technological pedagogical knowledge is the knowledge of uh, the existence, components and capabilities of various technologies as they're used in teaching and learning settings. And conversely, knowing how teaching might change as a result of using particular technologies. This may, for example, include an understanding that a range of tools exist for a particular task. Uh, the ability to choose a tool based on its fitness for the task and strategies for using the tool, as well as knowledge of pedagogical strategies and the ability to apply these strategies for the use of technologies. So um, this would include knowledge of tools for maintaining class records, attendance and grading, as well as perhaps knowledge of generic technology-based ideas such as web quests and um, discussion boards or chat rooms. Okay, on to technological content knowledge. Technological content knowledge is knowledge about the manner in which TK and CK are related to each other in a reciprocal manner. Although technology constrains uh, the kind of representations possible, uh, newer technologies often offer newer and more varied representations and greater flexibility in navigating across these representations. Teachers need to know not just the subject matter they teach, but also the manner in which the subject can be changed by the application of technology. Now let's look at the intersection between PK and CK. That's pedagogical content knowledge. This knowledge includes knowing what teaching approaches fit the content and likewise knowing how elements of the content can be arranged for better teaching. This knowledge is different from the knowledge of a disciplinary expert and also from the general pedagogical knowledge shared by teachers across disciplines. PCK is concerned with the representation and formulation of concepts, um, pedagogical techniques, knowledge of what makes concepts difficult or easy to learn, uh, knowledge of students' prior knowledge, and theories of epistemology. It also involves knowledge of teaching strategies that incorporate appropriate conceptual representations to um, address learner difficulties and misconceptions and foster meaningful understanding. Um, it also includes knowledge of what the students bring to the learning situation, knowledge that might be either facilitative or dysfunctional for the particular learning task at hand. This knowledge of students includes uh, their strategies, um, their prior misconceptions, um, and misconceptions students are likely to have about a 
particular domain and potential misapplications of prior knowledge. Finally, in the middle, at the intersection of all three elements is technological pedagogical content knowledge, TPAC. True technology integration is understanding and negotiating the relationships between these three components of knowledge. So a teacher capable of negotiating these relationships represents a form of expertise different from and greater than uh, the knowledge of a disciplinary expert, such as a mathematician or a historian, uh, greater than a technology expert, such as a computer scientist, and greater than a pedagogical expert, such as well, an experienced educator. Effective technology integration for pedagogy around a specific subject matter requires developing sensitivity to the dynamic relationship between all three of these components. In language teaching, we have the element of language, of course, and this only adds to the difficulty of trying to um, bring these three, these three forms of knowledge together. So please take a look at where we've placed this on the uh, infographic and feel free to discuss this with us and argue against our positioning of language. Okay, thank you very much for watching this uh, video podcast. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time to listen and discuss this theme with us.